Hi. So really briefly, what is artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI? It is, um, it's defined differently by different people, but it can generally be thought of as artificial intelligence that's smarter than most people in most or all areas of intelligence. And the development of AGI would be expected to be hugely impactful to the world. Uh, this can be seen by analogy to when humans um, uh, came onto the world stage. We affected the world more than probably any other species ever due to our high intelligence. And an even higher intelligence in AGI uh, could be expected to potentially affect the world even further. So um, notably, many experts expect that AGI will be developed at some point over the next uh, few decades. And in addition to that, there are several different paths to AGI, and they don't all necessarily lead to the exact same outcome. So if there are different paths that we can choose to take, and the different path um, will have uh, different very large impacts, that means that the choices we make in how we pursue AGI could be very impactful choices. Uh, in my uh, work here, I investigated three major paths to AGI uh, and compared them for safety considerations. First, I looked at de novo AGI. And that's AGI that's developed from scratch. So if you imagine a group of computer programmers who have a series of insights that leads to AGI. The second is neuromorphic AGI. The idea there is AGI that's built on, based on principles that we discover from the human brain from uh, neuroscientific work. And the third is whole brain emulation. The idea there is to emulate a specific human brain. So if you took uh, someone's brain, uh, you scanned it, you translated the scan into a model, you ran the model on a computer, and presumably also um, put the, put the, um, gave it a virtual body that it could control and a virtual world to interact with. And if done correctly, then the emulation would be assumed to act uh, similar to how the human whose brain was scanned would act in a similar situation. Uh, so there are, um, a previous work, in particular by Nick Bostrom, has argued that neuromorphic AGI is the least safe of the three. And um, whether de novo AGI or whole brain emulation would be safer is an open question. And there are several arguments on both sides of this. Um, in my work, I came to the conclusion that whole brain emulation would be safer to achieve first. But there is a caveat here. Uh, this caveat has been pointed out by several other people. And that's that pursuing whole brain emulation might actually lead to getting neuromorphic AGI first. So if we pursue what arguably is the safest, we might end up with the least safe. Uh, I think this makes sense. But I also think that as it stands today, um, the vast majority of work that leads to one of these three types of AGI is not directly pursuing one path, but instead it's, it's focusing on underlying technologies. Um, and so we have to consider each of these technologies separately for what, what the effect of trying to advance them would be. So from that, I developed a uh, technological landscape of the major technologies affecting these three types of AGI and also how they affected each other. And the, the um, underlying technical trends I looked at were uh, AI research, uh, computational hardware, nanotechnology research, nanoscale neural probes, and uh, neuroscience. And um, one of the main insights I had was that um, I thought that nanoscale neural probes would increase the chances of getting whole brain emulation first as opposed to neuromorphic AGI first. And um, the main reason for this is that there, a lot of the information processing that happens in the brain actually happens on the subcellular level. So within the uh, neuronal bodies, within the, the dendrites, within the axons, and so on. And so if we want to have a model that's high fidelity enough to allow for whole brain emulation, we'll likely need to be able to um, probe this level, the nanoscale, um, in a very large scale distributed manner and in vivo. And um, nanoscale neural probes are the only foreseeable technology that could allow for that. Uh, on the other hand, neuromorphic AGI might not require that level of fidelity. So the conclusion I came to is that uh, pursuing nanoscale neural probes could be good from an AI safety perspective because it could increase the chances of getting whole brain emulation first while also possibly decreasing the chances of getting neuromorphic AGI first. Thank you.